What is a mineral? Let's start with the scientific definition and then break it down into parts that are easy to understand. The scientific definition is a mineral is a naturally occurring crystalline inorganic solid with a unique chemical composition and a definite crystal structure. So we can really understand what a mineral is. We are going to look at the following parts to explore what they mean. Naturally occurring, crystalline, inorganic, solid, chemical composition, and crystal structure. Naturally occurring means made by nature, not man-made. While this may seem clear, you may encounter materials that make this very confusing. There are many different types of man-made materials which can be combined to make materials that look like minerals. These man-made materials are called synthetic. Some materials may be made from glass or plastic, but others may be the exact same chemical composition as the natural mineral, but the crystals were grown in a laboratory. Crystals. To understand what crystals are, we must start by looking through a microscope. All things are made up of atoms. You are made of atoms. The trees, animals, buildings, and cars are made of atoms. Minerals are made of atoms. Atoms are building blocks for everything, and they are so tiny that special microscopes are needed to see them. Atoms link together to form the physical object they are making. Crystals have a specific way the atoms are linked together. In crystals, the atoms link together in a way that repeats over and over again. This repeating makes a pattern. This picture is a representation of many atoms linked together. The round shapes are the atoms and the bars connecting them represent energy. Some of the bars are longer and some are shorter, indicating some are stronger and some are weaker links. This picture shows atoms with the same amount of energy linking all of them together. This picture and the previous picture shows an ordered arrangement of atoms. Crystals have this ordered pattern of atoms. This pattern can also be called a crystal lattice. These ordered atoms create a physical object called a crystalline solid. A crystal is a single continuous piece of crystalline solid with edges of flat surfaces. As atoms are added to the ordered arrangement, the crystal grows. The flat surfaces formed on a crystal are called crystal faces. This photo shows many flat surfaces. Each flat surface is a crystal face. The next item in the definition of mineral is inorganic. Inorganic means not organic. But what does organic mean? Organic means that it came from living organisms. In this picture on the right are tomatoes and parsley. They are from living plants, so they are organic. Inorganic means material that has never been alive. On the left, is the sand in a desert. Sand is not from living organisms, so sand is inorganic. Minerals are inorganic. All things on earth take on one or more forms, solid, liquid, or gas. Gas is matter that expands to fill a space. Air is a combination of gases. It is what makes balloons float and is what we breathe in. Gas has no shape. 
Liquids take on the shape of the container, but they do not expand. They have a constant volume. Solids have a defined shape with a constant volume. Minerals are solids. Minerals have unique chemical formulas. The chemical formulas show us what elements from the earth have combined together to form the mineral. These elements give the mineral its properties such as color, hardness, and even smell. Here is an example of three different minerals and their chemical formulas. The gold colored mineral is pyrite and has iron and sulfur atoms combined together to form the mineral. The next two minerals are both purple but we can see from the chemical formula they are quite different. Amethyst is formed when silicon and oxygen combine together, while fluorite is formed when calcium and fluoride combine together. The numbers in the chemical formula are explained on the next slide. Let's look at pyrite. To begin forming a molecule of pyrite, three atoms are needed, one iron atom and two sulfur atoms. These atoms come from the natural environment. A chemical formula for pyrite could be written, pyrite equals iron plus sulfur plus sulfur. It is commonly written as FeS2. The little two refers to the two atoms of sulfur. The last item in the definition of mineral is crystal structure. This describes the way or pattern atoms are linked together to form a molecule. A large number of molecules must link together for a crystal to grow large enough to see. Atoms come in different sizes, so a hydrogen atom is a different size than an aluminum atom. Because atoms have different sizes, when one atom combines with another atom, they will link together in a unique pattern. This is a molecule of quartz. It contains one atom of silicon and two atoms of oxygen. The silicon atom is larger than the oxygen atoms. The links between the silicon atom and the oxygen atoms are drawn as two lines to indicate there is a very strong bond between the atoms. This is a molecule of mica. There are different types of micas, so the formula is slightly different for each one. The pattern creates the crystal structure. As you can see, there are many things to consider when determining if something is a mineral. There are over 5,000 different known minerals in the world, with new ones being discovered each year. To determine the name of a mineral, we look at different properties. Check out the videos on Uncovering Earth to learn more about mineral properties.